If you have no friends and need to farm the Nova's gear using team ups, you need to learn how to do the final boss the intended way. Or if you are as ambitious as Ferric to solo the fight, you also need to learn the intended way. Don't pigsy again, you piece of trash! Currently, there are no YouTube guides on how to do it the legit way, so on my live stream, I basically spent hours learning how to do the fight in order to teach you guys, so please leave a like and consider subscribing if you find the video useful. To understand the battle at its core, here is the overview. When you start the battle, first round you enchant whatever cards you packed, then everyone passes. Next, you see that you get polymorph. Depending which polymorph you are, the strategy will be different and you need to target the boss that your morph counters. This step is crucial and I'll explain the counters later. Next, your aim is to set up the condition of these gambit cards which cost zero pips but you need school pips in order to cast it. You'll be using the hits on the boss that you counter and the aim is to kill that boss. The person who lands the final hit on that boss gets unpolymorphed which now they are going to buff themselves and try to kill with their AoE or whatever spells that they packed. In the meantime, you yourself need to get unpolymorphed and in order to do that, you have to cast a card that costs the most amount of school pips. Each school pip is worth a 20% chance of being unpolymorphed. So if you cast a card with 3 school pips, there is a 60% chance of you getting unpolymorphed. The only card that has 4 school pips, so 80% chance of unpolymorphing, is if you were polymorphed into the dog. Once you get yourself on polymorph, you can now use your cards that you packed into the fight and buff yourself up to kill. Now we will go over which polymorph counters which boss. There are only four different forms that you can be polymorphed into, the unicorn, the monkey, the penguin, and the dog. If you are familiar with the Rochambeau wheel, whether that's PvP or Beast Moon, you already know which school counters what, but let's scrap that and learn it how I remember it. So when you are polymorph, you notice you get these cards. For example, as a unicorn, you get life and storm cards. When I see these storm cards, I remember that storm rains on fire. So, you know, when it's raining, it clears out bushfires. So we will hit the mob that is fire, which is the monkey. This is confirmed on the Rochambeau wheel, where you can see that storm counters fire and life counters myth. The monkey is both fire and myth school so you hit the monkey. If you were a polymont into a monkey, you have fire and myth cards. I remember that fire melts ice. Which mob is ice? The penguin so you hit the penguin. If you were morphed into a penguin, you get ice and death cards. I remember death darkens life or ice freezes storm. So which mob is life or storm? The unicorn. If you were morphed into the dog, you just hit the dog. Or you can just learn to memorize that as a unicorn, you hit the monkey. As a monkey, you hit the penguin. As a penguin, you hit the unicorn. And as a dog, you hit the dog. Now let's go through how you set up your conditions for your gambit spells. As a unicorn, you get these cards and here are the easiest gambit setups. You can choose whichever route you want to take. For example, if I only wanted to, you know, limit myself to only set up a teacup and nothing else, all I need to do is heal myself with this heal over time, then discard everything else that isn't a teacup. If you want to set up this Leviathan, all you need is a Stormblade on yourself. If you want to set up the Dark and Stormy, you need to put a negative charm on the monkey by using an Oni's Attrition. In order to use this spell though, you need to have a damage overtime on yourself, which you basically get spammed with overtimes anyways. Now you see that these two school pip cards do 800 damage when you meet the condition, but you're actually going to be doing more than that because when you hit the correct boss that you counter, you boost on them. That means you're going to do about 3 to 4 thousand damage. Keep in mind the bosses have around 14 to 19 thousand health, so if your team is only hitting with these cards, it's going to be a slow fight. This is when the card that requires 3 school pip comes in handy. These do around 7 to 10 thousand damage, and to read it, this symbol means yourself, and the two symbols that are next to each other means either or. So if I have a blade on myself, or a heal over time on myself, and the boss has a negative charm from someone else or yourself using the owner's attrition, then you can meet the extra damage condition on the card. Again, you can take whatever route you want. So for example, if you wanted to set up this storm cat, you need a blade or a heal over time and a damage over time on the enemy. And in order to get that damage over time, you use this card, which clears your damage over time for life over times on the enemy. 
In this guide, you notice that the school cards I've chosen all have a school pip in common, which is life, storm, and death. So those are the schools you should be setting your pips to. Remember how earlier I said that in order to get unpolymorphed after someone has killed the boss, you're going to need to use a card with the highest amount of school pips? That means that regardless of which route you're gonna take, you're eventually going to have to cast uh, one of the three pip costing cards. But you don't need to meet that extra damage condition though, uh, because you're only using it to unpolymorph yourself after the boss has died. So now that you know how this flowchart works, it's the same for the other polymorphs. As a monkey, you're targeting the penguin, you use a trap to set up a glimpse of divine, a overtime for the myth gin, or an early forge for your forest lord. If you want to do 7 to 10,000 damage, you use the elephant, which you need a healing overtime on yourself from the only forge, and either a trap or an overtime on the boss. Now, the penguin polymorph is the easiest because both the infection and the shield help set the cards with three school pips, so you don't need to memorize which route you want to take, you just do whatever your hand gives you. If you want to do uh, the three pip, if you want to do one of the two pips, which is the deadly depths or the beetle, again, you should always be changing your school pips to accommodate which card you want to cast. As a dog, you hit the dog, and basically, because these spells cost zero pips, you need a way to get rid of these normal pips that you get at the start. And you do that by using the Pip Pip Cheerio early on, because once you do get yourself a balance pip, it will end up using your balance pip, so that's kind of useless. So just aim to use that early on, early on if you manage to get the card. After, you use the question mark card about two or three times on the dog, and then you see which random thing it gave you. So you can see in this clip that I have a heal over time on myself, and my teammate's card gave the boss a trap. So now I'll be discarding my hand to look for the cards that can set up those gambits, which are these two cards in this clip. Now that you know what all the cards do, let's apply what we learned in action. When we start the battle first round, you enchant everything and pass. I see fire and myth cards in my deck, so I change my school pip to one of those schools. Remember, fire melts ice, so the team will target the penguin. In my hand, I see that I got the myth gin and the glimpse of divine spell, so in this run, I'm going to be lazy and not bother setting up a three school pip hit. I'm hoping that my teammates can set up those. I'm passing because I didn't pull a trap or a dot, but I see that my teammate is putting a trap on the boss, so I know that in two turns, once I get my school pips, I'll be able to hit. Next round, I contribute to the team by putting a dot on the penguin, which will help set up the myth gin. Next round, I got my school pip I need to use a hit. I'm choosing to use a fire hit though, because I don't want to remove the myth trap on the boss with a gin, but I'm still holding onto it just in case I can't find another glimpse of divine. After we all use a hit, the boss is down to 5k health, meaning I'm going to need to unpolymorph myself soon using a 3 pip school card, so I'm going to hold on to the elephant. I have nothing to do here since the boss already has traps and dots, so I'm just going to aura. I am still discarding to find more 3 pip hits, and the boss is really low, so I'm hoping I can get the final hit in, which is also the method of unpolymorphing yourself. The person before me got the final hit, so now I'm going to use the elephant to try to unpolymorph myself. You can also see that I got the snowman, which is a 3 school pip card, and I'll try to set that up if my elephant was unsuccessful in unpolymorphing myself. But I got unpolymorphed, and I just need to buff myself into the AoE. I have this guide in the description. Please share this video and leave a like if you found it helpful.